Thank you, Hamid. Now I would like to invite the Member of Parliament, Ginny Sims, to say a few words. Please come on the stage. Your Excellency, in distinguished guests, friends, and those who are visiting today, or welcome to sunny Vancouver. Uh, I want to start off by congratulating the students and the ambassador and all others involved for this concept of having a Saudi day. And having it on a Saturday in downtown Vancouver where you're going to get people actually engaging. I know it looks quiet right now, but uh, by lunchtime, I can imagine that this place will be hopping. And uh, we live in a country that is uh, multicultural, and uh, we celebrate. We don't just tolerate our differences and our different cultures. We want to celebrate all that different countries have to offer and all that comes into this country. I always get a little bit annoyed when people say, well, you know, we're a very tolerant society. Well, I can tell you, I'm a tri-national. I was born in India, grew up in England, and now I'm a member of parliament in Canada. And I don't want myself or my children or your children to be tolerated. I want them to be celebrated. So I want to celebrate our diversity. And I think having events like this plays a critical role. But we also have leaders like Hamid, who play a critical role in making sure that we communicate cross cultures. It's very easy to build silos and just remain with who you know and what you know. And it takes real courage to start building bridges between the different communities and cultures. And another such uh, advocate I want to recognize at this time is uh, Yusuf Barakat, who I found to be doing an amazing job at bringing different aspects of different communities together under one tent so we can start having real conversations. Um, I'm not going to shy away from talking about a difficult subject. Those who know me know that I don't. Uh, Islam and the word Muslim often brings up all kinds of concerns amongst people. But I want to say to you, we cannot blame a religion. No matter what the religion is, whether it's Christianity, Islam, or whether it's Judaism, for the actions of mankind. And so I think that the more we do to educate about the tenets of the faith and about the different cultural experiences from different countries, the more we work together to build a peaceful world. And I think that is our goal. So once again, to the students, congratulations. To the ambassador and his government, I want to congratulate you for your investment in education. If there is one thing that is going to decrease the uh, wealth, uh, uh, the distribution of wealth between the rich and poor, it is going to be, I would say, um, education. Education opens doors. So to the students, I want to say this to you. Live your dreams, live them big, never leave a door closed, open it. If you don't like what's inside the door, go and open another door. And that's what education gives you. So congratulations. And Hamid, in recognition of the work you and your organization does, I would like to present to you a certificate from uh, myself and on behalf of the leader of the official opposition, Thomas Mulcair, saying thank you for making our communities stronger and thank you for the uh, role you are playing in raising awareness and building bridges. Thank you so much. Salam alaikum. Now, with the last speech of the day, with the member of Legislative Assembly, Mr. Bruce Ralston, please come on the stage. Uh, 
Salam Alaikum. Your Excellency Naif Al Suderi, Saudi Ambassador to Canada, Dr. Assis Al Saleh, Cultural Attaché, Culture, Saudi Cultural Bureau, uh, the President of the Saudi Students Association here in British Columbia. Salam Alaikum. It's, uh, it's my pleasure to, to bring greetings on behalf of uh, all members of the legislature, but in particular my leader, the leader of the opposition, uh, John Horgan. Um, many of us, or few of us, are uh, lucky enough or privileged enough or talented enough to become professional diplomats uh, such as His Excellency. But in our own way, we are all ambassadors. We are all emissaries. And that's the very important thing about the reception that we in Canada and we in British Columbia offer to students from around the world. In a way, they are ambassadors of their culture, of their country, and in particular, the Saudi Student Society is a well-recognized and prominent part of cultural events and intellectual life in universities across Canada. One of my sons just graduated from Dalhousie University in Halifax, and Saudi students are an important part of the student life uh, in Halifax. So um, I want to congratulate uh, the, the, the embassy for taking the initiative to hold this event. Um, it's uh, a, a first, and uh, the weather has cooperated. I don't think it would be really a Saudi event if it were raining somehow, but uh, um, it's, it's a gorgeous day, and uh, I'm glad that you brought everyone here together. I know Canadians and British Columbians will be very receptive to what the Saudi, Saudi Arabia has to offer here today. So thank you very much for inviting me.